Okay, so as you can see the title of this, Be Strong and Fight Corrupt Authorities. But it's this is good, hopefully, hopefully. I'm gonna give a good shining example. A good shining example of how authority, false authorities, corruption, cover ups and stuff not only get started but remain powerful and stifles you by you stifling yourself. I'm gonna get into that. But I want to preface this. This right here on my Discord channel, this video was submitted by uh, one called Mr. Pony, but it's Cringe Meme Pony now. And um, yeah, me and him don't necessarily. Here's the thing. He and I, get we agree on a lot of things. But wow. I mean, like, he's like Nick Infante, but like 70 to 80 percent better it's just certain areas is like what the fuck but and that's just going on some shit that happened today but he posted this in my area called video blast and that's pretty much if you want me to comment on the video or something like that you know post it there and i'll do what i can you know and you know i'm fallible i don't catch everything because a lot of stuff i just i don't have the ear for it or whatnot, but I do what I can. And so he posted this thing. Um, let's see. He said, he said, "I got this. I got a wow. I got <clears throat> I got a this in the video recommendations. Want your opinion on it?" So he got this in his video recommendations and whatnot. And um, the YouTube upload I think is Jack Xenon. Uh, this is in Discord. This is the only place I'm looking for it. Um, oh well, shit. I got it on YouTube as well because I already. Did my things to get it on OBS, but yeah, it's right there. Jack Xenon, uh, he's only got 134 subscribers. I don't know what's up with, with that, uh, but I don't know his channel or anything. But uh, it says it's an excerpt from The Pulse, uh, I guess Rethink or RTHK, uh, interview with Dr. B. Aylward from such and such. Uh, let me go to YouTube, Dr. B. Aylward from. Who? WHO, World Health Organization. And it's an excerpt. It's only five minutes. I am going to go into the part, because everything else seemed all right, I guess, uh, for the most part, uh, trying to go over the whole spread and things like this of COVID-19 and things like that. But right here is a part where they talk about one place that handled it very well. And let me explain something sometimes when, remember what i've said a few times before it's not what you hear it's what you don't hear sometimes and i know that might be sort of a slippery slope in many areas but sometimes you really got to pay attention to what someone isn't saying and it's worse when it's when it's marred in mendacity all right so let me go ahead and get to this because we're already three minutes in and i gotta get back get back to minecraft with my daughter uh so uh, let's see. Uh, so to browser. Okay, so I'm gonna it's gonna just play from where it is. So let me go ahead and mute my mic and get it up there. So uh, here we go. As the outbreak has swept across the world, a few places have seemed to have things more under control. One of them is Taiwan. Late this week, Taiwan had recorded 252 cases and only two deaths, a much lower percentage than its larger East Asian neighbors. Taipei says it alerted the WHO at the end of December about the risk of human-to-human -human transmission of COVID-19, but concerns were not passed on. Despite being shut out by China and the WHO, Taiwan's efforts in combating the outbreak were recognized by the European Union in a recent video conference. Would the WHO consider Taiwan's membership? That long pause. I, I didn't mute it. I did, but I stopped. That long pause. Hello? We, 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 I'm sorry, I can't hear. You. I couldn't hear your question. Okay, yeah. Let me let, let me let me repeat the question. No, so. that's okay. Let, let's move to another one then. Right. Okay. Right then, you don't agree to just move on. No, you hold their feet to the fire. That's what you do. You do not let them do that. 
I don't care if they're even because if people are not in authority, then you want to bully them. You want to badger them because they don't have power. But those who have power and you want them back on your show or you want to be invited back to their show or have another conversation with them, you don't want to get blacklisted or call blocked or whatever the hell is going to be, then you just give in to everything and that is their power. That is all the power they need because they have the arrogance to know that you're not going to challenge them. So they can say this crap and get away with it. Just think about it. There's no way a politician can lie repeatedly if they know they're going to be called out on it every single time. And it's put on mainstream media, not a niche group of maybe one to two million people that no one's going to listen and no one's going to spread it and no one's going to try to expand or expound upon it. You have to hold their feet to the fire. All right. But let's let's keep going. Because, because I'm, I'm actually curious on talking about Taiwan as well, on Taiwan's case. Then he ended it. We decided to give Dr. Alward another call to follow up. And I just want to see if you can comment a bit on how Taiwan has done so far in terms of containing the virus. Well, we've, we've already talked about China and... Um, at that moment, that's when you have to say, wait, 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 no, 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 wait, 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 back it up. We're talking about Taiwan. We want to get how you feel or what you think about Taiwan. You have to force them to stay on subject. That's important. You have to do that. How did I hit You know, that? when you look across all the different areas of, uh, of China, they've actually all done quite a good job. So with that, I'd like to thank you very much for inviting us to participate. And, uh, and good luck as you go forward with the battle in Hong Kong. There's other stuff, but that, uh, yeah, I'm going to close it out. But yes, that is, you can't let that happen. All right. Now, listen, you listener, you, the listener, the viewer, you, you have the power. You have no idea the power you possess. All you have to do is speak to someone. If the, you, you just talk to someone about it and if they have a different view on it say hey look check this out and you bring up a few you know what ifs and is it possible you know and make sure that possible don't mean is possible just means is it possible you know pique their curiosity a little bit say look and make sure oh I can't stress this enough make sure you let them know that you are not attacking them you might be attacking the ideals or the idea but you are not attacking them not them as a person you're not judging them as a person or being all over you're not questioning their sentience or anything no you are literally having a conversation and you let them know that they in truth they aren't wrong if they're only spouting what they have been trained or taught to know you know and if you learn something new you are expressing the ability to learn and show your own greatness don't let people take advantage of you because when you do then you lose your power and people of authority when you take a back seat to them then you've made sure to take a back seat to everything in your life and that's not right that's a disservice to you so, yes, while you, it takes mass numbers to get things done, at the same time, if you talk to people instead of trolling them or immediately framing things in a inflammatory way, you know, like how many times did you beat your wife this week opposed to last week? And they're like, what? So, yeah, stuff like that. You know, if, if you did, let's say you did hear something about somebody beating their spouse. Like you hear about some woman beating the hell out of her husband. You wouldn't go to her and say, hey, you know, you beat on your husband, you're a horrible woman, yada, yada, yada. And it sure as shit isn't really good to go to the man and say, how weak are you? Let a woman beat on you. That's toxic on both scales. It'd be best to just, and most people in the South will say, just stay out of it. But if you're really concerned, you want to do something about it, in certain situations like this, you just simply say, hey, this is what we have heard we like to know how true it is considering the evidence of this 
what do you have to say in opposition to it? You know, it don't say how do you deny it? Wow, you, if they don't fight you, then something's wrong. So <laughs> there are ways to approach it. Now, granted, if you have a conversation, having a conversation, and they're pretty much insulting your intelligence and whatnot, then yeah, okay, fine. You might have to lay into them on at that point. But other than that, go into it initially best that you can. And it's really hard to do it with friends and uh, colleagues that you know enough because it is a bit personal at that moment. But I'm just saying there are ways to do things, ways to not do things. And the one thing you should not ever do is let these people in authority, I don't care if it's the president, vice president, I don't care if it's members of Congress, I don't care if it's, it's the Senate, the House, the judiciary, I don't give a damn where it is, I don't care if it's a governor, a mayor, a police chief, police officer, do not let them railroad you. There are ways to handle each one in their own way. All right? Case in point, real quick, the police, be quiet. Go to um, Brothers in Law, Tips of the Day, listen to that, 25-step script. Do that, and you have the ability to sue the police and make money. Don't try to get them in prison, lock them up, or anything. No, hit them pockets. Corruption only knows money. Corruption knows money and power, and they have them both. That's how that works. You know, so please use your power. Talk to like-minded people, but make sure that you have a great way of talking to unlike-minded people. Maybe you find that you agree with them a lot more, and they agree with you a lot more than you think. Maybe you open both of your eyes up to a truth, because what you've both been told might not be the absolute truth, and you can both find a way to get closer to the truth. It's possible. I'm not saying it is, but it's possible. It's just not possible to do anything well if you're silent and if you take a back seat. So please, exercise your power and always hold their feet to the fire. This is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.